Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK, welcome back to City Skylines. I think we need to fix the city up a bit. I think we need to get some stability here before we start expanding any further. We're back up to 107,000. We're making 3,726 a week, which is pretty darn good actually. And we're growing at about 100 uh, a week as well, which means we're not doing that bad. We're not doing that bad at all. Now what I'd like to do, really, if I can, is sort of encompass this initial city within this highway that I've built here. Now the highway, that intersection, that desperately needs fixing. It's a bit of a mess. And I'll rethink that and fix that at a later date. But for now, I would like to work upon expanding the residential area. Now the demand at the moment is for industrial and we've got plenty of space to expand the industry area here. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm a bit concerned though that industry appears to be in this area which is quite close to the sea but I mean look at it, it's disgusting. So actually I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's expand this way and maybe turn this into a beautiful area. That would be nice, would it not? Okay, so... I'm a bit concerned about this corner. Am I going to be able to bring the highway around here or not? Yeah, that's running at slow speed, which is perfect. Now, this is going to be really, really tricky, I think. Two lane highway, three lane highway. This is what we're after. Okay, so we've got the curvature on. We're going to come up to probably here. Oh, we're out of city limits. Of course we are. Let's, let's do that first. Oh, look. We, can we buy both? I need both. Oh, that is infuriating. We may have to start here. That is infuriating. Okay. Seven thousand five hundred. God damn. Okay, well that's ruined my plans for this episode. But we can at least expand this area here, uh, which isn't too bad. What does it say here? Suitable area for building 86%. That's pretty good. Fairly good for trees, we'll say it's farming resources are average or and oil resources are low. Okay. There's some ore in this area. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So these three are perfect for residential building, which is kind of what we want to focus on right now. How do I get off the screen? There we go. So that will have to wait. We can't do that today, but what we can do is continue with our city expansion. And what have we got here? This is a four lane with trees. So let's think about expanding this a little further. to follow the curvature of this land mass if I can I mean that is a huge ask of my skill set going to continue on down there later. Has that raised the land at all? Oh no, that's that's not too bad. But it is quite hilly, isn't it? I didn't realise quite how hilly that was going to be. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Um, this is also a four-lane highway. I'd like to change it so that it was... Just 
looks a bit nicer for residents, doesn't it? And then we've got this four-lane highway coming down here, which we can now expand. Ah, still can't do it all the way down. I can only go as far as here. Can't even do that one. We'll have to wait until we get the next expansion, which shouldn't take too long, actually. Look how close we are now. We're nearly there already. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this could, this could grow and expand really quite quickly. Now, the main highway stretch is here. And we've got a second one here, which is not too bad at all. I'm thinking maybe we'll loop this off a tad somehow, and we'll have the hospital smack bang in the middle of this area. Or maybe one at each end, something like that. Because if we come up here and look at our current situation, let's have a look at electricity. Okay, so we're starting to run low on electricity. Can we now have an incinerator? We can. Now, this was something I spoke about in the last episode. Oh my god, it's tiny. It's absolutely tiny. I didn't realise it was going to be so small. We could have two of these little, little blighters. Well, that would be great. If, uh, if we can produce more electricity... Garbage processing status is sort of teetering on being poor. Uh, yeah, we need to expand the water services in this area. That fixed. But okay. Um, so. Incineration plant. The incineration plant collects and burns garbage to produce electricity. At the moment it's producing nothing, it's not processing anything either, but I guess we're going to have to wait until the trucks start swinging around and actually bringing stuff in. So okay, I'm hoping that's going to improve the garbage situation. Uh, already <clears throat> we're, we're moving towards the green, which is good. I'm quite happy just to keep adding more of these until all of these are sort of 50%. Not, not got a problem with that. Short term at least. Short term at least. Okay, so uh, let's continue expanding on our road system that we have here. Um, I'm quite liking... gone too far there let's just that's quite tight yeah oh no that's perfect because i didn't want to chop off the trees i kind of want to keep this stuff if i can um, and let's try and have a road that swings around like so just give us a nice shape if you will we do the same kind of thing over here, except coming down and, and around like so. And uh, that will that will link up with this road here, and then finally this road here. Although this is all going to be coming across, so this might actually link up with this road. And this inner road, I'm not sure what we'll do with that. We'll figure that out later. But that's the main shape and idea of the expansion. Now, I haven't been that impressed with my design skills up to the, up till now. I think if I straightened all this out, that might look quite a bit better. And um, it would be massively disruptive to do it at this moment in time. But I think over time, that is going to be an option. Crikey, 15,000. We're actually losing money. That's interesting. What have I done? <laughs> what did I do? These things must be more expensive than I... Yeah, the upkeep is 1,296 per week. That was the mistake. I've put two in. And they're still not producing anything at all. Two out of 22 garbage trucks in use. Two out of 22 garbage trucks in, in use. So the garbage reserves are going up. Can I empty this? Uh, 
How, how do I do this? If I say... It says it's emptying, but where do I empty to? I want to empty to these places, basically. So that's the route they're doing. Okay, so what's, what the heck is going on? weird is it says that it's emptying but where are you emptying to are they emptying to here I do hope that's the case because that would be excellent if they are now initially I thought having a one way stretch here would be brilliant because it would stop uh, traffic issues, but I'm thinking now maybe a two lane with some trees or four lane. Can I do four? Would, would that be an option? No. I could do it there, there and there. Because these buildings already exist, I wouldn't be able to do anywhere else. Okay, so that looks pretty stupid now, what I've just done. So what we're going to do instead then is bring it back to a two-lane highway. Low happiness. Oh dear. That's no, not. Global happiness is good. What are you talking about? Um, two-lane road... Two lane road with grass. Does that work? Because it's it's not a nice area. It's I mean it's full of filth and smut and temperature and pretty nasty stuff. Okay, so now that that's a two lane highway, is that going to improve? There we go. That's an improvement. Look at that. Oh man, can I not move this thing? So they're coming out of here and just dropping it off at these two locations. I think that's what they're doing, which is perfect. That's going to speed that whole process up quite a bit. 92% full at the moment. These should be producing stuff now. 9 megawatts, which is nothing really. But their primary use, I guess, is not... To produce electricity but is in fact to get rid of trash and I think that's what they're doing so so that's not too bad that's not too bad and uh, looks like we're making a small amount of profit again okay good population is slowing but it's still going up these are good things these are good positive signs okay so let's plan for the future. Let's start getting some water. That's just slightly missing it. Just want them to overlap ever so slightly. Lovely stuff. Whoops. That'd be too close. Can I build down? No, I didn't think I would be able to. So I'm going to have to just put one like so, just to make sure it's covered. 
Perfect, except we now have no cash, which is a tad annoying. But anyway, the demand for residential zones is back up. The des demand for industry, or industry, <laughs> industry, for industry is up. Um, this is all good stuff, all very good, all very promising, looking very nice indeed. Um, I think I might be able to run a second sort of main highway bit down here and just cut these trees a little bit. Now I know you've been talking to me about fire breaks for trees and stuff. Um, I will get to that but I don't know when exactly. It's not that high up on my priority list right now, I'll be honest. Whether that's the right decision or the wrong decision I don't know but at the moment that's how I feel about it. Um, oh crikey, so, maybe I should ditch this highway and just connect it here. That's an option. tea break thought process okay let's just have a look see how we're doing for crime crime is pretty darn good there is a criminal there a couple of criminals there so I wouldn't mind putting a police station over here maybe or better still up in the middle area here um, medical uh, medical health care actually health care is pretty good Average health, not so good. Um, and yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. But what? What shall we do? I think we're going to have to wait until we expand. Oh, are you not going to let us buy more land? Damn, I thought it was going to let us buy the next plot. We're going to have to get 14,000 for the next plot. Okay. Alright then. Well, demand for residential area is high. So let's try and focus on building something pretty. I quite like this elaborate shape that we've got going on. Maybe I can continue that without being too ridiculously crazy. Um, what are these roads? These are two-lane... Like so. So, something along the lines of... So, yeah, i just like to keep the flow, the traffic flow going, if that makes sense. kind of like this shape that I'm getting going on here. It's like a radiation of... That could look really quite cool. Am I out of money? I'm out of money. Uh, okay. I'm liking, I'm liking the look that I've got going on there, especially with the trees intertwined with it. I think that's going to look nice. I think that'll work really well. And we can have a third one coming off here and then maybe a little a section here um, where we can put maybe a hospital, police station, something like that. Uh, some shops. We've got a little shopping parade there, tiny one. Um, there's no real demand for any more shopping area. Oh, crime is picking up a tad over here. It's, it's time we looked at investing in a police station. We can't do because we have no money. 12,000 that's going to cost. It's going to take a couple of weeks to get there. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Um, why have these guys got no water?
They've got a crime issue and a water issue. Uh, is it because that's not connected to anything? I think that might have been what the problem was. There we go. Fixed? Yeah, so now they just have a crime issue. So, let's make that our priority. Can we take a loan out? Do we have any loans? Oh, we can take loads of loans out. Now that appears to be a much better deal. So let's take that one. Let's come over here and let's put a police station in. Let's at least get this issue dealt with. Now where best to place this? That's the question. I don't really want to break up the, uh, the nice city, the nice little uh, villagey feel that we have there. But I do want to put police station in. Now, I could whack it on the end there. That would only eliminate one building and they'd have access, quick access to pretty much everywhere. I'm going to pop it there. That's not quite where I meant to put it. I meant to put it on the corner there, but okay. Made a slight mistake there. Healthcare. We do have enough for a medical clinic and I think again... Up here we're okay, but down here we're, we are definitely shy. Let's pop it there. That should fix that problem. Nice. Alright, so healthcare wise we're looking a lot better. And I want to have a big hospital in the middle here. Uh, and in terms of fire safety, we are going to need fire station. Look at these fire hazards here. Terrible. We are going to need a fire station over here as well. Um, placing them on, on the outskirts like that isn't brilliant. It's not the best use or it's not the best position. But um, I think it looks better. And plus, you know, these main roads give them much faster access to places, which is important. Uh, we're not too bad in terms of fire state safety. Pollution is looking pretty well contained except for there. Getting ever closer to our water intake area. I am thinking of making a big reservoir that we can um, either get rid of the pollution into. In fact, I think that's the best way. I think that is the best way, but I just don't, haven't got the cash right now to deal with that. But that is going to have to wait. Um, okay, so whilst we are waiting, let's... Right, so these are high-density uh, buildings. Which, uh, which are new to us. We've only just gained access to this. So I think that would look quite smart, especially with the design shape that I've, I've implemented here. Now obviously we're going to be putting a road there, so I don't want to expand any further than that. There's a big area in the middle here where I haven't really done anything with, but actually I think that's going to make it look a lot nicer. And um, having these trees and stuff will, I, I think, make the area more affluent, possibly more profitable. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. And also, high buildings like this on hills work quite well. I don't like how they dig into the ground, particularly. Um, but I guess that's just part of the game. They haven't done it so much for this side. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad. I think it'll look okay. Demand for industry is going up. An office zone. Hmm. Yeah. How about we have some offices over here?
some new industrial, some new jobs. See how well that takes off. They seem to be building there pretty much instantly. Which is great. Access to this area is pretty darn good. Got some crime issues over this side, but we're going to fix that up by putting uh, stuff in here. Still growing at 68 a week. We're not far off. Becoming a, a small city. Have a look at our uh, incinerators. How are we doing here? 50% now. That's pretty good. And I assume it's all going into these. The garbage trucks in use is pretty minimal. But... Um, yeah, I mean, that's producing lots of electricity. So we should be absolutely fine there. We're producing 256 and we're consuming 127. I think now is a good time to get rid of these things. Now, we're only connected via this, this stretch of road here. So I need to be incredibly aware and cautious around um, making a mistake there similar to this one whereby I forgot to put water in let's connect all that up so that's done okay so that's the water issue resolved they've all got water everyone over there is going to have water and electricity is good okay not too bad then Although that has just dropped a smidge. Happiness! I think we're doing pretty darn well there. Residents not that happy. Um, that house there, absolutely, totally... Oh no, they're happy now. There's a few individual houses that are really not happy, but I don't know why exactly. But on the most part, I'd say pretty happy. Indus industrial happiness is extremely high. For whatever reason. Um, commercial happiness is pretty darn good. Everyone's in a pretty happy space. Health-wise looking much better. What's this? Levels... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't really know what that is yet. We'll come back to that. Traffic. Oh, well, interestingly... Yeah, actually, I mean, this is a stupid bit of road. I think I think now that there's access over these uh, areas here, I can just get rid of that. To me, that has always been a bugbear, and I think that's going to alleviate this traffic issue straight away anyway. We'll see. We'll give that a couple of minutes to fix itself. But uh, yeah, I think that could alleviate the traffic issue straight away. I mean, if I connect this up here, that's probably going to alleviate this anyway, because residents won't have to come down this stretch to get to their homes. So, let's have a go at doing that then. Let's say that this highway begins here. Um, so, we're going to need this road, and that's... What type of road is that? Four lane road with decorative trees. So we're looking at. Oh, an avenue. Avenue. Sounds lovely. That's probably what this should be. This should be the, an avenue. But uh, I do feel like I want to straighten that up or we'll just improve that somewhat. See how it converges a bit there rather than being straight and straight. Few minor issues. Got a fire here. Oh dear, where's the, where's the fire services?
So we've got four fire stations. I mean, this one's pretty close. So there should be a fire engine there any moment. Is that one? Yeah, okay, dealt with. Definitely we need to think about having more fire stations here when we've got some cash. Um, and yeah, I mean, already, is that looking better or is it just my imagination? I know it's worse. All right, let's get this built as a temporary solution. Uh, falling trees. sure how well that's going to work, <laughs> truth be told. any roundabouts but oh, we do we have a small roundabout we have a large roundabout which we can't afford cloverleaf intersection that's what we want here how much is that 25,000 that is exactly what we want here ah okay okay what's this one then freeway intersection warning Experts predict an earthquake could hit the area soon. Oh dear. Could have really done without that right now. Especially since we don't have uh, that additional fire station in place. Alright, let's uh, let's do something crazy. Let's take that extra loan. Let's get a fire station. What the hell is this? In the affected area. What the hell is this? What the hell? Look at the waves! Oh my god! <gasps> oh, crappy hell! That's frightening! And it's made a river! Wow, it's knocked all of our water out. Okay, well I can fix that. That's not a big deal. I tell you what, we got away with that somewhat, didn't we? Other than everybody going into blind panic because they have no water. Okay, that was fixed pretty quickly. Not sure why the electricity is out. I think that's getting resolved. Okay, everything's back on track. Wow, did you see what the water was doing then? I have not seen that before. We got a like a mini tidal wave coming up on the edge here. I don't think that's going to affect us. I think we're going to be okay. And we've just hit small city. Wow. My God, a lot happened at the end there, didn't it? <laughs> I haven't seen any of this stuff before. Not forgetting that I'm a complete noob. This is all new to me and it's all really quite exciting stuff. Uh, level 6 unique buildings, we've got trains, we've got monorail. Eventually I'm going to start looking into this stuff, but I just don't feel like we're making enough profit at the moment. Small business enthusiasts, new policies, new roads, cable cars, monorail. Okay, that's all pretty cool. New buildings, train station, cargo train terminal, multi-platform train. Oh yeah, so much to get into here. A yoga garden. Hydro hydro power plant. Flowing water is an infinite source of kinetic power. Find a strong current in a river and build a dam to access this source of clean electricity. 
no doubt that will have an effect on the water surrounding it. But look, look what we have here. This is going to start sucking up water. Now, is that going to flow? Is that going to be a river? Is this the start of the river that I wanted to build, but I didn't know how to or where to? Could this be it? Could this be the solution? It's pretty exciting. I imagine this is going to dissipate. Oh my god. Oh no, it hasn't reached up here, that's good. So this is all going to be filthy water. But maybe that will be the way to get rid of it. Maybe, maybe a natural disaster has actually opened up a possibility for us. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's just going to run out or run in. I'm quite sure how that's going to work. It looks like it's it is disappearing, which is something of a shame. I was rather hoping it might continue. Maybe if I dig that out a little more, we could get something of a river going. But uh, we're not we're not exactly rich at the moment. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's concentrate on what we're trying to do here. We were going to put a stretch of road round here. So let's get that done. This is a what is this two lane with trees curvature it's pretty darn perfect I'd say I like that so much Right, okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to have a straight section coming off here. Maybe we'll have a straight section coming off from there like that. And then this is going to be where the hospital goes. And this is, what's this? Sauna, medical helicopter depot. Yeah, let's have that. Can I afford that? 50,000. Look, that almost sits next to it. Okay, we'll, we'll accept that, like so. So, in terms of medical services, that has must have boosted um, our medical capabilities in this area. We're also going to want a fire station. Oh my god, 790. My god, well, that's all my money gone. God damn it really must remember that we do have a limit on what we can buy. <laughs> Alright, uh, industrial area is in high demand. Residential, not quite so much, but uh, we do need to fill this area in. So let's do that first. Like so. Perfect. Well, I think that's going to look really nice, and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's going to bring in uh, quite a bit of extra revenue. Look at that, we're in negative equity again. What's going on here? What's the problem? So, education is a problem here. We need to start educating our people more. That's okay, because that's what this central hub is going to be all about. It's going to be medical services, financial services, education services, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, that's exactly what we're looking to build here and expand upon. I'm liking this shape that I've built here. I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, that's the first thing I've built that I've actually felt pleased with. Um, and we have a hospital now, we have a helicopter area. It's looking decidedly better 
Financially, that's not quite the case. Um, can I just crack in here with some industrial buildings just to generate a bit of extra monetary income? I mean, they're snapping that up pretty darn quick. Gotta say, not hanging about, are they? I won't come any further up there because that is bespoke to for, for other things. So, hopefully industry will expand a bit and um, our finances will improve somewhat. What's our next target? 14,000, so that's quite a big jump. And that will gain us access to another 2.2 kilometres square, which means we can open this and continue our uh, residential area here but certainly education it has to be the next priority because all these offices are going to leave now because there's nobody smart enough to work for them is basically what's going on there um, at some point I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably change this somewhat but for now that's gonna to have to stay as it is and uh, yeah we'd like to put an intersection in here so, but at least things are connected now. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, so just ignore this. This is this is a lack of money issue. That's all that's, that's causing that problem. And uh, yeah, our business is coming in. They are very slowly, very slowly coming in. Very slowly coming in. So hopefully that will generate a few more jobs. But uh, education is our current bottleneck. So I am going to have to focus on that without forgetting fire, uh, fire safety and uh, police presence at the same time. Why have you got no electricity? What's going on with the electricity problem? We're producing 243 megawatts and we're consuming 222. I think taking those things out was a mistake then, wasn't it? They were obviously producing more electricity than I gave them credit for. So that's a bit of a problem. Making profit again, still growing. Okay. I'm going to leave it there for this episode, guys. I think we're okay. Uh, I'm going to have to do something about the electricity problem, obviously. Um... 30,000. Yeah, we just don't have enough. I know why we're not making a lot of profit because I'm paying a lot out on interest for those loans. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know your ideas and suggestions. Till next time, take care. Goodbye for now.